If you are looking for accurate information to help you stay efficient and eliminate the guesswork as you are setting up your Kajabi site or making sure you've set it up correctly, then you are in the right place. As this is part of a series, make sure you hit subscribe and then you will know when the next video releases. I'm Tamson Horton. I am trusted by business owners just like you all over the world. I personally have blended my babies, which are now children, with my business since 2011. I know it takes a lot to do what we are all working so hard to do. Today we are going to tackle four different areas of setting up your site for the first time or making sure you've set it up correctly. And those are your blog information, your payment details, your domain, and your mobile app. We're not going to depend on our memory banks to make sure we have covered all of our steps. We are going to use one of my trusted Trello checklists. I am famous for my checklists and this is how I keep everything straight because if you're going to do something more than once, it belongs on a checklist and it's even better if you don't have to make the checklist. So we are going to scroll right on down. I'm using Trello for those of you that are curious. Uh, this is my go-to for checklist tools and we're going to see right here it says blog settings. We just work our way right through the checklist. So we're going to pop into Kajabi and we're going to open up blog settings. When we open up blog settings, you will see right here you have page title, page description, and an image. Now, Kajabi gives you a little bit of information right here on the left hand side. This information, if you share your blog or someone else shares your blog on social media, this is what is going to pull up. Now, if you have adjusted the SEO on an individual blog post, then that information will override this information. And let me show you where that information on a specific blog post lives. So all you need to do is look on the left-hand side, you're gonna click on blog. Now, if you've never written a blog post, just follow along. This is where your individual blog posts live. And you know that because it says blog right here and it says new post over here. So here you can see there I have nine blog posts on the test site. But if I open up one of these individual blog posts right here and I look at the post details, here is the title. Here is the content. That is what displays as the blog. This part right down here, see where it says SEO and sharing? This is where you can change the URL. You can put in the title, the page description, and the image. So if you are writing individual blog posts and taking care of SEO at the blog post level, A plus for you, then that is what is shared on social media. If you write a blog post and you leave this area blank because you didn't know what to do with it, totally fine, you're not gonna learn everything all at once, then the settings that we were working on, so we're gonna click back to settings, we're gonna click back into blog settings, this title, this description, and this image would be shared. Now, I am not an SEO expert. I use for my own SEO information, I use the tactics and the strategies that I've learned for YouTube. YouTube is the second largest search engine, so I use my same keyword research from YouTube. I learned it from Sunny Leonard Doozy. You can Google her. Um, and I just copy what I'm doing for a video, and if it's applicable, I will put it onto Kajabi. So don't stress out over this. There are really smart people that you can learn from. This is where it fits on your site. Next up, we are gonna go into your payment integrations. So we're gonna click back on settings, 
And the next one is payment integrations. So this is how you take money through your Kajabi site. Now, if you're using a third party app, similar like Thrivecart, you wouldn't necessarily need to hook these up. I would recommend take the time, hook them up because you never know when you might want to just throw up a quick offer and having it integrated into Kajabi is definitely a time saver. So you'll see right here, you have Stripe and PayPal. So you can follow the information for both of these, go through the videos, and I'm gonna click onto the checklist because this is why I use that checklist. Yes, we did it, yes, we did it, yes, yes, yes. Even I forget things. So that's why we do the checklist. No, no chance for errors or oversight. Here on payment integrations, I have, there's two videos that Kajabi has for how to do both of those. And if you want to only use Stripe, just hook up Stripe. You do not have to hook up both. And if you're in a country that can't use either one of those, then definitely check out Zapier, check out the main um, official Kajabi user group, search on your country's name, search on the payment processor that you're interested in, and I'm sure um, you will find a solution for that. So that is where your payment integrations are going to live. This is how you will take money when people are purchasing your offers. While we're here, I'm curious, are you team PayPal or team Stripe? Let me know in the comments below. And added bonus for my curiosity, does it matter if you're buying something or if you're the business? Because I have two different answers depending on if I'm wearing my customer hat versus my business hat. And I'll let you know what it is in the comment below. All right, our next two pieces that we're gonna look at are setting up your custom domain. So again, settings, and then we're gonna come right back into all of our different choices. We're gonna choose domain. Now, for your domain settings, you can only have one custom domain connected to the site. However, you can have numerous custom domains that direct towards landing pages. So this is an area that I wanna make sure is really clear because it makes your Kajabi site very powerful. My Kajabi site can only be tied to tamsonhorton.com, but I, like you, probably own a few too many domains um, for those late night great ideas we get, right? Um, and I want to show you one of those, and that is for Bizzlebox. So Bizzlebox, um, I'm an attorney by trade, and Bizzlebox is business plus legal. So it is biz Bizzle, I can't type and talk, Bizzlebox.com. So I own this domain. I purchased it on GoDaddy. That is where it lives, and it directs to a landing page in Kajabi. So when I'm sharing bizzlebox.com, the rest of the world reads that as a website. In the Kajabi technical terms, it can't point to my site because that's already occupied by tamsonhorton.com. But it can redirect to any landing page I want it to. So if we watch the, you know, URL box right there, when I click enter, you'll see it redirected. So it redirected to tamsonhorton.com. That is my domain that is tied to Kajabi and slash bizzle, which is the name of the landing page that I gave it. Um, and this is just a landing page. So if you have lots of custom domains and you are a little concerned about well, how am I gonna handle that? It is so incredibly easy. So I honestly took about six months, um, this was way back in 2015, um, before I tied tamsonhorton.com 
to my main Kajabi site. So you can change this now, you can change it after the fact. Anytime you want to change this, you just click set up custom domain. When you do that, this Kajabi will walk you through step by step exactly what to do. If you run into any difficulties, you wanna get on Kajabi Live Chat. So that you can find by clicking in the lower left-hand column and under help and feedback right here, and then choose live chat. Let them know you're working on your custom domain and they will walk you through um, any issues that you are having. So there's lots of flexibility in terms of your domain settings. And for those of you um, that have never seen what this might look like, I went ahead and opened up my GoDaddy account. So here's my domain, bizzlebox.com. And then if I click edit, you'll see right here, this is where I put in um, the landing page. Now, public service for those of you that are veteran founders like myself, this domain, which I haven't been in here for years, do we remember the old slash p slash? Oh my goodness, I had no idea that that was still alive. So if you're a veteran founder like myself, ding, 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 go double check your redirects. Mine was broken because obviously Kajabi removed the P. Now, for those of you that are brand new to Kajabi, you are so fortunate that you did not need to live through the slash P slash years. Oh my goodness, it's right up there with, you know, stories my parents and grandparents will say in terms of, we had to walk 10 miles in the snow to go, you know, do whatever it was. Um, it's a similar type story. <laughs> it definitely is. Um, but I didn't know, which is why it's so good as we're going through checklists they helped me you know i had no idea my bizzle box thing was undone so domain let's make sure we've got all our steps here um yep like i said i use godaddy you can use whatever it it does not matter we're definitely going to use whatever the instructions are from kajabi those instructions change which is why i'm not going to say it is step one, two, three, because today the step is one, two, three. A year ago, it was a completely different set of steps. So they are continually making sure that the custom domain setup is as straightforward and accurate as possible. So always go with what the information is that is happening when you're you know, going through the setup steps. Um, live chat you definitely want to do and i showed you how you can redirect any page that you want to all right final section we're going to cover on this video is the mobile app settings now you will see so many discussions about the mobile app quick you didn't have to build this mobile app you don't have to maintain this mobile app and Yes, it does have Kajabi branding on the front piece, but you can totally handle that with customer education. These app settings, some of you will say, but that's so generic. It is, but when you are on your mobile app, and more importantly, when your customer is on the Kajabi mobile app, hundreds of thousands of businesses use Kajabi. When you don't take time to set this up, when they log into their mobile app, they will not see your unique icon. They'll just see the Kajabi icon. So it's very easy to tell which businesses set it up and which businesses did not. You want it to be yours. Love Kajabi K, but no thank you. I want my PBK key to display where it's supposed to be. So. Here you have your mobile icon. That's what you're gonna put up here, which is what will show up when your customer is logged in any Kajabi site that they have an account with, not just yours. Um, 
Then you have the app colors. Now, you cannot at this time do your own hex code colors. So pick the set of colors that is best. Okay, again, a temporary tattoo. You can change this anytime. So it is not permanent, but that is where you want to just choose a color. I could switch it over to magenta. Kajabi will give you a quick preview right here on the left. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind with mobile app. It maintains content of the product. It strips out customized um, header, footer, navigate, or um, sorry, sidebar stuff. So if you have a product that has all kinds of beautiful widgets in a sidebar area, none of that will show on your mobile app. So you definitely want to make sure that, for instance, I keep a calendar in my sidebar on a few products. I just needed to go in and make a post with that product as part of the content so that it would show up. And I will make a video on that one um, for you guys. If you think that would be helpful, will you just let me know in the comments below? Um, and then I might move it up on the production schedule, depending if that would be helpful for you at all to know how to adjust your product content when it might be displayed on a mobile app versus displaying it from a tablet or a desktop or a laptop. Um, it does strip out some features. So the Kajabi app promotion, this is if you want it to show in your library, you turn this banner on. So let me hop into my own library. This is what it turns on. You can now access all of your courses from your mobile app, get the app, and then it has the instructions um, for them right there. Again, I used to have separate instructions that I made you know, on brand and they were my, my thing, but Kajabi updates stuff, so now I just keep it linked right out um, there and it is right at the tippy, tippy, tippy top right there. So that is the mobile app promotion. This email um, swipe copy, you can use it. I don't know that I've ever used it and sent it out, um, but that's what it's there, is to let them know that, hey, you can get this on your devices. Um, it was a little more important when the app first released, but that's been a few years ago now at this point. So that is, um, those are the mobile app settings. All right, and I, again, I this is why I use my checklist. Um, I'm gonna go through this as, um, you're watching this, if you're finding the checklist helpful, if you're finding the insights helpful, I would love to have you check out PBK. It's Preneur Business Club. It is wickedly smart people. We're running businesses um, and we don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can mingle with some really great people. Um, all the links are below this video. And I am just making sure that I have done all of my things right here. Yes, we did. We covered them all. So thank you so much for watching. And the next video is all queued up and ready to go.